Hello, my name is Jacques DeVoe from Audio Kinetic and welcome to the quick tip video on using the schematic view in WISE. Uh, we're going to look at the basic workflow of the schematic view. We're also going to look at the search field and also uh, options for displaying object properties as well. So first of all, what is the schematic view? The schematic view is basically a different view in WISE that allows you to view the contents of your project. So let's switch layouts here. So this is a layout you're familiar with, the designer layout. I'm going to switch to the schematic view. You can also use the F9 shortcut. So by default, you see the entire contents of your project displayed in the schematic view. If I want to focus on a specific element, in this case, a random container of my footsteps, all I need to do is drag and drop that into the schematic view, and it automatically updates the view. So here I can expand the contents here, and actually also play that object directly in the schematic view as well. I can also double click on any of the elements that I see here to expose their properties. So in this case, here's the random container, or I can double click on the sound object itself as well and make changes there. One of the other areas of interest is the ability to right click on any of the objects displayed here, and this provides you some other options as well. For example, I can edit it, similar to double clicking, uh, finding it in the project explorer, and details and also show in schematic view. So if we look at the search area here, this is a very quick way to locate content uh, within your project. So in this case, I'll type in gun, and the view automatically updates itself based on the filter of my search. So here, it's automatically set up to show me the elements that are related to guns, and as you can see, it's highlighted here. There's also a secondary search, which is uh, not specific to the schematic view, but it allows you to find things. So if I look at the, the top section of Wise, this is the generic search. And here, for example, I could type gun. Uh, it shows me elements in my hierarchy, and I can also open the results directly in the schematic view by pressing on this button here. So it, it, it's going to take me to the same place as if I typed it in here. So let me reset the view quickly, and now we're back to the default entire view of the project. Now what we'll do is we'll take a look at the view settings, which allow us to select which object properties will be displayed in the schematic view. So by selecting the view settings option, we have a dialog that allows us to select all of the view settings that will be displayed. So what we'll do is we'll start off with the volume. I select OK. And now you can see that the volume is now displayed for all of the objects uh, within my project. So what I'll do here is I'll expand this and show you how the volume can be used as a mixing tool directly within WISE. So if I was to play this blend container, I can actually control the volume directly. So this is a really good tool for controlling parameters like volume, pitch, low pass directly in the schematic view. I'll reset this and now we'll select another example. So this is the positioning type. So this gives you a visual cue uh, which allows you to see directly in the schematic view what the positioning is of your various objects. You can see that these are 2D, uh, these objects are 2D as well, and this one here is a 3D game defined object. And finally, I will show you probably the most powerful one is the icon strip. This allows me to view a lot of different information at once for all of my objects. So by selecting that, you have this little icon strip here that shows me quickly how objects are routed, uh, the positioning types, any associated real-time parameter controls. For example, here's one here. And advanced settings that are used. In this case, I have some, some playback limits, volume thresholds, and so on. So that's a quick look at the schematic view in WISE. Really, you should look at it as a graphical representation of your audio pipeline. That's really what it is. It's also a great troubleshooting tool to find out how things are routed, and it really gives you a good idea uh, of how your project is set up. Thanks, and see you soon.